If you recently shifted to Windows 11 and want to ensure that you get the best gaming experience, you can try different things. I don't mean getting the best gaming accessories, games, etc. There are different settings that you can tweak and get a smoother gaming session. In this video, we will address this issue and show you how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. I also want to remind you that there is a video on my channel about optimizing Windows 10. If you have Windows 10, then be sure to watch this video if you want to get the most out of your system. Optimizing Windows 11 for gaming. Windows 11 is already set up for gaming. Optimizing it is about making tweaks to the settings that will provide the best, most immersive gaming experience possible. You don't have to make all these changes if some don't suit you. Setting up a system for gaming is about customization at its most basic level. The whole point is to have a setup that works best for you. Update your PC and drivers. It might seem an obvious way to optimize your computer, but many gamers avoid updates until they are forced to make them. However, many operating system and driver updates for graphics cards can improve your gaming experience very quickly by optimizing settings or fixing bugs discovered since the last release. To help optimize your gaming experience, we recommend updating your Windows 11 OS as frequently as possible. Open the Start menu on the bottom left of the screen. Click on Settings. Look for Windows Update on the left bar. In the Update section, select Check for Updates. If there's a new update, allow Windows to install it. After that restart your computer, keeping Windows up to date will help you avoid any security issues and deliver the latest fixes and features. Updating your graphics card software will do the same. No matter if your PC has an AMD Intel or NVIDIA, you'll need to use the proper dedicated software. Launch NVIDIA Geforce Experience. Click on Check for Updates. Download the latest driver. Install the driver. For AMD graphics cards, you'll need the AMD Radeon software. Launch AMD Radeon software. Select Check for Updates. Go to Drivers and Software. Download and install any new updates. After the drivers install, restart your computer. Keeping your graphics drivers up to date has been standard practice for all gaming computers, and Windows 11 will benefit more if you ensure everything is updated. Game mode. Game mode is a bit of a controversial topic among gamers because it never seems quite as great as companies want it to be. However, game mode on Windows 11 has gotten some positive feedback and is well worth trying out. One great feature of game mode in Windows 11 is that it should stop your computer from downloading or installing updates while in-game. This means you don't have to worry about abrupt notifications or restart requirements when you are playing. It would be best if you turned it on before playing games. On your PC, click on the Windows Start button at the bottom left corner. Click on the gear icon, which brings you to the settings menu. Select gaming from the options. Go to game mode. Toggle game mode on, which makes the switch appear blue. Game mode helps your computer prioritize the games you are running instead of other programs in the background. This added boost can help keep your games running with higher frame rates or smoother graphics, even on less powerful computers. You can always switch it off if you don't notice a difference or prefer running games without game mode. Pointer precision. Pointer precision is excellent in certain circumstances, but it usually isn't the best choice for desktop gaming. It changes the speed and placement of the mouse based on how fast you are moving it. In games where you need to aim or where small movements matter, you won't be able to predict where the mouse will end up quite as well. Search for mouse on the Windows search bar. Go to mouse settings. Click on additional mouse settings. Move to pointer options. Under Motion, disable Enhance Pointer Precision. Apply the settings. Remember that pointer precision isn't without its uses. If you're gaming on a laptop and not using a mouse, you may want to keep it on to make the touchpad more viable. Also, you may need to adjust mouse acceleration in your game settings as well. Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If you have a strong GPU or a weak CPU, toggling on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling might help improve some of your graphics processing. Specific tasks are handed to the GPU instead of the CPU, reducing waiting times for those tasks to process. The difference is often slight and not everyone likes the option. However, it's worth trying if you haven't already. Open settings. Select system on the left. From the list on the right, click on display. Choose the graphics option. 
toggle hardware accelerate a GPU scheduling on or off, depending on your preference. Disables Box Game Bar. This box game bar allows you to record and share gamma play similar to NVIDIA Shadow Play. If you never use this feature, it is best that you remove this feature completely from your system to conserve CPU usage and memory. Alternatively, if you wish to turn the background process off then, but keep the feature, you can do that as well. Unlike Windows 10, in Windows 11, you cannot completely disable this box game bar feature. In case you don't use this feature, you can completely remove it using PowerShell. First, look for PowerShell in Windows Search. Right-click on the PowerShell icon and then select Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, copy this command from the description of this video, paste it into PowerShell and press Enter. This will completely remove Box Game Bar from your system. If you wish to get it back in the future, you can always visit the Microsoft Store and download it from there. If you only wish to terminate the background process instead of removing the feature completely, launch settings by pressing Windows plus I on your keyboard. On the settings window, click on apps while you are still in the settings window. After that, click on apps and features from the right side panel. Now, scroll down until you find the app list and in the search bar below, type Zbox Game Bar. The Zbox Game Bar app will come up in the search result. Click on the three vertical dots to open a menu and then click on advanced options. After the advanced options page opens, keep scrolling down until you see terminate. Click on the terminate button to close the background process. If you wish to keep Zbox Game Bar running, but without any significant performance damage, you can turn off the resource intensive captures features in Zbog Game Bar. In the Windows settings screen, click on gaming on the left panel. Next, click on the captures option. Now, Disable the record what happened and capture audio when recording a game features by turning off the toggle switch next to the respective options. This will ensure this box game bar isn't unnecessarily consuming your system's resources. Deleting temporary files. Deleting temporary files helps in freeing up cache data and improves performance. To delete temporary files in Windows 11, first open up the run window by pressing the Windows plus R keys together. Then, type temp inside the command bar and press enter. This will take you to the directory where all the temporary files are saved on your PC. After that, press Ctrl plus A to select all the files and then press the Del key to delete them or right-click on the selected files and select the delete icon from the context menu. There will be some files that you cannot delete. Simply skip them and you will be done with it. Choosing a performance power settings. Choosing the correct power plan is important because based on it, Windows might limit how much processing power goes into gaming to save battery life. If you have a laptop, you might want to skip this step as this will make your battery go down faster. First, search for choose a power plan in Windows Search and select it from the search results. After the power options window opens up, click on show additional plans. By default, the balanced plan will be selected. To get the most gaming performance, select the high performance planned. This will make your computer consume more power but, if you are on a desktop, you don't have to worry about it. You can go further by unlocking ultimate performance mode, although this is not necessary. To do this, type command prompt in Windows Search. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator from the context menu. In the descriptions of this video, I will leave the command that you need to copy and paste into the command line and press enter. Now go back to the power options page and click on the refresh icon and you will be able to select the ultimate performance planned. Performing Disk Cleanup. Disk cleanup removes junk files and frees up space on your computer. Start by going to Windows Search and type Disk Cleanup. Then, select it from the search result to open the Disk Cleanup dialog box. A small window will come up. Select the drive you wish to clean and then click OK. After selecting the drive, another window will open. Under the Files to Delete section, select everything you wish to remove and then click on OK. You will receive another pop-up box asking you to confirm your action. Click Delete Files and wait for the process to complete. Depending on how many files you select, it can take some time. Defragmenting Drives Defragmenting a drive optimizes and makes it run more efficiently. This improves the computer's overall performance too. 
to defragment a drive, first, go to Windows Search and type defragment and optimize drives, and then open the app from the search results. On the optimize drives window, select a drive, and then click on optimize. You should defragment all of your drives once in few months. While defragmenting, prioritize solid state drives before hard drives. Verifying system file. Broken or corrupted system files can slow down your computer and hamper your gaming experience. First, open the start menu and type command prompt in the search bar. Then, right-click on the command prompt app from the search results and select run as administrator from the context menu. In the command prompt window, type this command and press enter. Wait until the scanning process finishes. If any corrupt files are present in your system, you will be notified. Disable overlays from third-party apps like Steam. Software like Steam, Discord, etc. has overlays to provide you with additional information or to help you with tasks like inviting friends in your group. Even though having these overlays enabled can be very helpful, they increase the memory and CPU usage a lot. If your PC is struggling to run games, try disabling these overlays. In this video, we are using Steam to demonstrate how you can easily turn off overlays in these applications. The process should be similar in other apps too. What you need to do is open the settings page of the specific app that is displaying an overlay interface and then disable the overlay feature from the app settings. First, launch the app drawing overlay interface on your PC's screen. Since we're talking about Steam as an example, well open the Steam app by searching the start menu. After the Steam window opens, click on Steam on the top left corner of the window. Then, select settings from the available options in the menu. On the Steam settings page, select the in-game option from the left panel. From there, uncheck the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game and click on OK. That is how you disable Steam overlay. You can use this method as a reference to turn off overlays in other software like Discord or TeamSpeak as well. If you want to improve your FPS in games, then go to this channel page and watch all my videos about PC optimization. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos.